Ladies and genitals. Today I'm gonna show you how I have abs and I don't work out and I eat whatever I want. Trust me, my stomach didn't used to look like this before. So, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is drink water. I'm not being a cliche, you literally need to drink water, love. Do not underestimate this. I know, cliche, classic, but if you drink water before your meals, you're going to consume a lot less. I always keep like a one, two litre bottle of water in the fridge, and I try to drink that throughout the day. Water is just gonna like fill you up more. Period. I keep it in the fridge as well because cold water will help speed up your metabolism and also tastes a lot better. So I drink like one or two of these a day. That's all, bye. Two, I don't really snack. Three, stop eating when you're full. I know that's really hard and it's going to take time. I got to the point where my stomach like shrunk so much that I literally would be full after a few bites. That is not healthy, okay? I really got to an unhealthy stage where I would have to force myself to eat because my weight was dropping so rapidly. So what I'm saying is just start to eat smaller amounts and your stomach is gonna shrink a little bit. Like I literally will eat whatever I want. If I want a burger, I'm gonna eat it. If I want a pizza, I'm gonna eat it. If I, if I want that entire bag of chips, I'm gonna eat it. If I want a 10 pack of Krispy Kremes donuts, I'm gonna eat it. And the reason I do that, or I can do that, is because every day I don't really go over my daily maximum caloric intake. I also, okay, I sleep a lot. And when you sleep a lot, you're kind of fasting a little bit. So I get up kind of late from bed because I've been lazy lately and what about it? So sometimes I'm fasting for like 10, 12 hours. And in that meantime, your body is like burning all that food off inside. I, I don't really know how this works. I feel like a health nutritionist is gonna be like, she's promoting an eating disorder. I'm not, I'm, I swear I'm not like, I'm just saying. So if you stop eating at like 7, 8 p.m. or a few hours before you go to bed, your stomach is going to be way flatter, trust me. Also, this is such a good tip. Not sucked in, sucked in. Always suck in your stomach, always suck in your stomach. Sucking in your stomach helps burn fat. You know what, I kind of made that up. I don't know if it's a legit fact, but I know it does like help your abs. It just, it does like help. It helps just suck it in all the time. Posture. Suck in your stomach. Period. It helps. I remember when I did not suck in my stomach, my I didn't really have abs. I I was always bloated. And then I started sucking it in and over time my stomach just got flatter. This is all like a gradual process. It took I did not have a body like this before. Like trust me. I remember thinking why have I been bloated my entire life? Like, I swear to God, I was like, I can never wear crop tops. I'm always bloated. Like, I look at Alexis Wren wearing her, like, low, low, low track pants with a crop top, and I'm like, yeah, couldn't be me. But you know what? I can relate now. Could be me. Because of everything that I'd be doing in this video. Shall we recap? Get a lot of sleep. Stop eating at like 7 or 8 p.m. Eat small amounts and eat till you're full. Eat small amounts regularly though. You need to meet your caloric intake. We ain't getting body eating disorder, okay? Suck in your stomach all day. Just suck it in. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna lose weight. You're gonna get abs. I don't know if this is scientific or not, okay? It's my experience. Five, drink water before your meals. Drink lots of water, it's good for you. Don't diet. Don't diet! Don't diet. Don't you dare diet. Oh my god. Period. When I was in high school, I used to diet like crazy. Like I would do like 20 different diets in a year and guess what? I only fucking gained weight. Nothing happened to me. I just gained weight. It wasn't until I started to make my own lifestyle changes that I became healthier and I got abs. Period. So those are the lifestyle things you can do. That's going to keep you slim. That will give you a flat stomach, but if you want abs, you may need more work depending on your body type. So I'm going to show you this ab workout that I used to do every single day, like a year ago. And I think it will really like help you turn your stomach. Period. So let me show you the video. I don't actually know if I can do it. 
because I haven't worked out in so long. Like I probably am not going to be able to do it, but we're gonna try. Ew, I look bold. And what about it? Let's begin this workout. Seriously, don't know if I can still do it. Anyways, you wanna work on building I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into it, actually. Period. Oh, baby, when you turn like that, you will make a woman go mad. Okay, I'm a clown. Begin with a 60-second plank. I don't know if I'm planking correctly. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. She is struggling. Oh, my God, these ones, and I, like, hold it. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so hard. I don't remember how to do it. Oh my God. She is struggling. I'm not even doing it and I'm so tired. Period. I'm done. I can't continue. I can't continue. Period. <sighs> so, that was the ab workout I used to do that I credit my abs to. I'm also going to put like a grocery shopping haul in here because I have to go buy food. So, I thought I'd show you what I eat. And because I live alone, I, I do eat out quite a bit. And when I eat out, I usually eat like pizza or burger. I don't really be eating healthy options out. Period. I just want to note that everything happens slowly. It's not like in one day you're going to see changes or a week you're going to see changes or two weeks. It's probably going to take a lot longer and you've got to stay committed. You can't just shrink your stomach overnight. Like it happens over time. I'm off to do grocery shopping now. This is my OOTD. I'm wearing my pajamas. No thoughts. Head empty. Period. I'm back. I just carried so many groceries. My arms are shaking. That's how you know I have not worked out in like so long because my arms are shaking from carrying like a couple of kilograms. So let's do a food haul. I bought like three of these because I like to snack on them with hummus. I bought a lasagna. And what I do with the lasagna is it feeds like six. So I cut it up, put it into containers, and then I freeze it and I take it out throughout the week. I got some whole grain wraps, fettuccine, potatoes. I eat like five potatoes a day. Hummus. I'm addicted to hummus. Then I just got some baby carrots. Chickpeas. Got a couple of cans. Mixed nuts. Sausages. Eggs. So this is like pretty cheap. It was only $40. If you guys want a what I eat in a day as a college student or whatever, I will make one of those for you. Let me know. But as you can tell, I eat like pretty clean. And it's when I go out that that's when I buy the, all the junk food. So it's all like 80-20. And I know you guys keep hearing this. You want to know some magic formula for getting the body I have. There's no magic formula. And it is hard to eat clean, but you got to like try Period. Don't just say you're gonna do it. Try. Period. It takes like, what, 30 days to form a habit? So that is my what I eat. Wait, that's, I didn't film what I eat in a day. Period. That was my little tips for getting a better body, I suppose. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go eat. Remember, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a health nutritionist. I'm not a fitness guru. I literally don't know what I'm talking about. So these are just, this is just like what works for me. And people told me on the other video they wanted this video, so I made this video. Period. Was any of this advice helpful? I don't know. But I hope it was. Okay, I gotta go now. My lips are so gross. I look like a duck. Quack. I gotta go. Seriously, I'm losing my mind. Okay, bye. Period. Voy a cerrar los bajo la tierra tierra Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirán Madre quiero saber En verdad quién soy yo Y si 
tal vez tengo un síndrome Que alguien traiga mis pelucas verdes Ten medicamento Roman, tomaba 